viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we are now looking at section C of the 2021 Internal Science Paper 1. So in this section, we are expected to answer only two questions out of three, and each question carries 10 marks. Let us look at question e, C1. Question M. Describe an experiment on how you can determine the lower fixed point of a thermometer. So basically in this case it's just determination of uh, the lower fixed uh, end point of uh, the thermometer. So what we do is basically uh, let us uh, move to the new page. So um, to determine uh, the lower uh, fixed point of the uh, thermometer what we do is uh, the first step what we need to do is basically we need uh, to immense the bulb so the bulb of the thermometer now this thermometer is uncalibrated so the bulb of the uh, thermometer is uh, immense in pure ice water so what we do is uh, basically we have uh, pure ice water so there is ice and water we immerse it in there so once we immerse it in there basically what is going to happen is this is the uncalibrated thermometer just a laugh so once we immerse it uh, basically um, the liquid column this liquid column could be of mercury or alcohol if it was from here, it's going to fall down to a constant length. So this could be the constant length. Now, because this is pure water, the constant length, this should give us a zero degrees Celsius. That would be uh, the constant length. Then we mark this length. Okay. So mark the level of a liquid column where are uh, it falls column when it falls to a constant length okay we mark this one so when once we mark this one at uh, this is basically the lower fixed point of the thermometer so basically this is how you call out this experiment so the other question that you might be asked is also to uh, describe uh, the experiment briefly on how you can mark the upper now fixed points of the uncalibrated uh, liquid a thermometer so again similar what you do in this case is basically now we are not putting or you're not immersing this uh, uncalibrated thermometer into a uh, pure ice water now you are immersing it in a uh, pure steam water so pure steam water so in this case we're using uh, the steam of the pure water so once you put this one uh, it will start from somewhere whether it was here it's going to rise until it reaches a constant maximum so this constant maximum for pure water you know that the steam for pure water is 100 degrees celsius so once it reaches a constant this constant you mark it once you mark that one this one becomes uh, basically the upper fixed point so this one becomes the upper fixed point of the thermometer so basically this is how you answer uh, this question whether it comes the way this question comes or the other uh, kind of a question where you're asked to uh, demonstrate how you determine the upper fixed point let us look at b give two differences between a laboratory thermometer and a clinical thermometer so it's a lab and a clinical thermometer so uh, let us go to the new page so b we are going to have a laboratory then clinical 
these are thermometers so I want to compare the two so basically um number one is the rubber thermometer is used uh, for laboratory experiments then a clinical thermometer is used for a clinical purposes in this case because these are normally are the actual activities they are not um, experiments number two are uh, basically the temperature ranges on this one the temperature ranges are from negative 10 degrees celsius to about 110 degrees celsius on the clinical thermometer the temperature because this is meant for the uh, the body temperature the temperature ranges from 35 degrees to about uh, 42 degrees celsius and next on the bonus one number three the laboratory thermometer does not have a kink so does not have a kink then and uh, number three here the clinical thermometer has a kink so the kink is basically uh, helps so the kink helps to prevent the back flow of mercury if you're using mercury or alcohol so basically these are the differences uh, between the two let us look at question C mention one way in which you can improve the Roman numeral one sensitivity of the thermometer so there are, are three ways basically the key ones but in this case we are requested to uh, mention one so uh, basically we can improve uh, the sensitivity of um, the thermometer basically by uh, using a thinner wall so the first one in this case would be a one uh, using thinner wall because if the wall is thinner then uh, heat would travel quickly inside um, the liquid used then uh, number two just as an extra one you can use a smaller bore this would also um, make uh, the liquid there if it's mercury to uh, respond quickly then if you're using mercury number three we can also use uh, basically uh, a smaller mercury bulb so number three we can use a smaller mercury bulb this would improve uh, the sensitivity we look at question in number Loma number two of sim accuracy of the thermometer so uh, we can improve the accuracy of the thermometer in this case by uh, basically by using a closer markings so if the markings are closer what it this will allow us to uh, capture every small movement if these markings are very close there will be no uh, area where we need to guess if you see at uh, the leading falls or the in between the markings so basically this is how you can improve it we go to d name a device that can be used to measure very high temperatures and those that are very that vary considerably we move to d name a device that can be used to measure very high temperatures and those that vary considerably so basically uh, this one is a, a thermal coupon so it's the one that is used to measure very high temperatures and those that vary considerably so a thermal coupon is basically um, a temperature measuring device which consists of two dissimilar conductors 
that contact each, each other at uh, one or more uh, spots. So basically what happens, it produces a voltage when the temperature of one of the spots differ from the reference temperature at the other parts of the circuit. That's how it works. Question uh, D. Loma numero 2 mention two devices that uses the device you've mentioned in D1 above, which is the thermal couple. So basically, um, there are a number of devices that uses a thermal couple. One of them is, uh, let me just go to the new page so that uh, you see the spellings correctly. So number one is basically uh, the thermal power uh, radiation uh, sensor. So this one uh, does use uh, the thermal couple thermometer. Uh, number two, uh, basically this is uh, the thermal electric uh, cooling. Again, this one uses the thermal couple uh, thermometer. These are the two. The bonus are finances. So finances in a uh, steel industry, they also use um, the th thermal couple uh, thermometer. So basically, these are some of uh, the key applications that are used um, with a thermal couple thermometer. So basically, this is how you answer these questions to get the optimal marks.